that we as thinking and breathing human beings can accept acts like this. We must condemn these types of terrorist actions which kill innocent human beings. There is no, absolutely no excuse for such an action. So we are here in solidarity with the families of the victims. We are here in solidarity with the people of France and of Lebanon who have suffered under the hands of these terrorist attacks. At the same time, we realize that many attacks against human beings are happening around the globe, whether it is in Syria, whether it is in Libya, whether it is in Iraq, whether it is in Kurdistan, whether it is in Afghanistan, whether it is in Pakistan. And these are not the groups that attacked people in Paris. These are the imperialist powers who are attacking all of these countries of the region with their drones, with their bombs, with their fighter planes, with the forces that they defend on the ground and they arm on the ground. We also are here to condemn these wars of aggression and wars of terror conducted by the United States, conducted by my country, Canada, conducted by France and all the others. Without these types of actions against the people of this area, there would be no actions like that which happened in France and which happened in Lebanon. The two are intimately linked. We cannot have attacks against the people of Iraq, attacks against the people of Syria, attacks against the people of that entire region, because it will lead to the things that happened in Paris and in Lebanon. So we are here today in sympathy with all those people of those countries who have died under the bombs and the armaments of the imperialist powers. And we must stop that the attacks against the people of that region and then and only then will the attacks against people in Paris, people elsewhere and people in Lebanon stop as well and only then will these terrorist groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda have no basis and no capacity to continue what they are doing. So today we join together all of us from the International League of Struggle in a moment of silence and in a moment of consideration for the deaths of those in Paris and Lebanon, but also all those in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kurdistan, Syria, Libya, and elsewhere who have also suffered at the hands of the imperialist powers, particularly led by the United States, but also involving France, Great Britain, Canada, and all the other imperialist countries around. So I offer now the members and delegates to the 5th International Assembly of, uh, of the International League of People Struggle, who are meeting here, 350 of us in Manila. We are here today to hold one minute of silence, silence where we think about all of these victims.